they may end up canceling your policy. Hoping to earn a little extra money working for a ride share or a food delivery app? Well, beware. Some gig drivers are finding out the hard way they don't have enough insurance for the job. Rosie Achenbach and her dad have received a very expensive lesson. And what can happen if you have an accident as a gig driver? Basically, I flipped the back end of his vehicle. Dad Steve Achenbach thought food delivery would be a good way for Rosie to earn some extra money for college. Little did either one of them know that using her car for business meant their insurance would not cover an accident. Because she was uh, a driver for hire, essentially that was an exclusion from our policy that I wasn't aware of. The delivery company paid to fix the other driver's truck, but Rosie and her dad were on their own for thousands of dollars in repairs. It ended up costing $8,000. Caitlin Constantine is an insurance specialist with NerdWallet. She says anyone using a personal vehicle for commercial purposes needs to be upfront with their personal car insurance provider. They may end up canceling your policy. Even though rideshare and delivery companies often have insurance, those policies in most cases won't kick in until you're carrying a passenger or a delivery order or you're en route. While you're driving around waiting for a request to show up on your app, you're actually not covered by their policies. One option is adding ride-sharing coverage to your personal policy. NerdWallet says coverage costs between $9 and $25 per month. One downside, though, not all insurers offer ride-share coverage. And if that's the case, then you're going to need to look into commercial auto insurance. So if you drive your car to earn money, make sure you're covered. And how much cash we ended up spending, it ended up obviously not being worth the little bit of money I was making. Rosie's now warning other gig drivers to check with their insurance first so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.